Hi, in this slide, I want to talk about fun, uh, which is sort of the, one of the last F's in the, in the alliteration line. And uh, I, you know, I, I personally think mastery is fun. I've been a lifelong learner and I love it. Um, what we'll find is that, and most people hopefully have got at one aspect of their life where they got really good at something to the point where the better they got, the more they enjoyed it. For example, if you're a scratch golfer, any beautiful day you want to be out there hitting golf balls. If you, you know, have to lose 20 balls and cheat to, you know, get 120 and slow your foursome and everybody else behind you down, it's not much fun. So the key, though, is getting to that point where you're good enough that you really start to get some satisfaction and pride of what you're doing, and it becomes self-fueling to the point where then you get better and better and better to the point where actually, paradoxically, it becomes no big deal. In other words, people go, oh my gosh, you're really fantastic. And you sort of say, well, yeah, but if you worked as hard as I did, as long as I did, and did all I did, you'd be this good too. You know, anybody can do it. And, you know, I'm just happy to be here. And, you know, I've got lots more little things I'm working on and life's great type of thing. Uh, secondly, as we fail forward before we get to the self-fueling point, instead of focusing on outputs, gee, I'm no good, I can't, I can't hit the green, you know, uh, type of thing, uh, if we focus rather on the inputs, you know, hey, I've got this vision, I've got this hope, I have courage, I'm out here, I'm sticking to it, uh, I've got some insights, I'm, I'm working on the right critical mass of sub-elements right now, and I just have to have patience. You know, if I keep practicing perfectly, I have faith that with rhythm there will be some integration and I'll, I'll, I'll get a little bump to the next step and I'll start it all over again. So we can have, get some satisfaction, not necessarily fun, but some satisfaction out of uh, the fact that we're, we're, we're on the right path. Um, when we have setbacks, they're just naturally going to sting. That's just all there is to it. So basically, we just have to sort of relax, take a deep breath, and sort of blow out the frustration, the sting, the shame, whatever goes with it, and say, all right, actually, this is a gift. You know, what? what's the lesson? What, what did I do in the input that gave me this output uh, that I wasn't thinking about before? And, uh, uh, and, and, and learn that. But if we get angry, uh, then what happens is it blinds us to the insights uh, that actually are there in the uh, unsuccessful output. And this becomes sort of a, a vicious spiral downward as opposed to a virtuous cycle of insights, learning, and fun on the upside. So we just have to, when something bad happens, we just have to say fascinating, meaning, hey, you know, there's, there's, there's some lesson to be learned here. Find the gift. And of course, every once in a while, you know, we're out there at the driving range and we hit a ball just perfectly. You know, just we got lucky. All the things, parts mechanically happen to fall in place. We hit the sweet spot and boom, it just explodes. It takes off, whether it's our, you know, our hitting a golf ball or hitting a baseball or something. When, when, when that happens, and often it's just an accident, it's so exciting. We'll hang in there for another 200 just to get one more like that. And um, so when we... When we get something that works out, we can sort of say, you know what, the harder I work, the more seeds that I or we plant, the luckier we get. So let's make, let's wake up, make up our own luck. Bill Walton, the basketball player and, and announcer, one of his favorite things was never up, never in. In other words, if I don't just bust my butt and just get the ball up there close to the hoop, I may get lucky and, and, and it'll roll in or somebody else will tap it in type of thing. At least it's closer to the basket. Uh, Wayne Gretzky, number 99, said, you know, I miss 100% of the shots I don't take. Michael Jordan said, you know, maybe in my lifetime I've get, been given the last shot in the game and I can win or lose with a shot. And statistically, it may have been over 300 times and statistically less than half the time I made the shot. So more than half the time I missed, we lost the game and in theory I was the GOAT. But you know, in the big sweep of things, it was, it was just percentage play, and I was happy to be the one that my teammates thought had the best chance of, of helping that uh, happen. So if we focus on the upside and realize that no matter what happens as far as outputs, it's all good. If it's successful, great. That's, that's, you know, let's do it again. I love it. If it's unsuccessful, we go back and say, oh, what's the gift? What's the insight? What inputs do I need to tweak and try again? Um, now, as we look at all these things, believing in sort of the repetition 
and of of of, of ideas and also the variation of them. Uh, I want to, in future clips, look at at uh, thirteen maxims from a book called Improv Wisdom by a lady named Madsen. Um, so, this is the the end of the the F's. We have a special little F called Flow, which is its own little subset. Um, but that's the end for fun. So do have some fun while you move forward. Thank you.